Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, now you 17, 27, 37, 47. No 67s yet. But all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you look up in time has just flown away. Yeah. Right? But the reality is, the quote is very true. Good news is, you're the pilot. You are in charge of your time. You get to determine how you will spend your time while you're here and where you're going. Shout where you're going. Where you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time is going to always continue to run. We can't stop time. We can't stop it. No matter how much we would like to, we cannot stop time. Often, by, often I look at the memories that show up on Facebook and, you know, some of them are, are of my children and some of them are of my wife and I and some of them are of church and some of them are of people, other people that uh, I'm connected to. And when I look at the memory, the first thing I say, dog, time flies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next thing comes to my mind is I remember that. Mm -hmm. I remember that exact day. I remember everything that was going on in that moment. But the sad thing is, I cannot get that moment back, regardless of how bad I want it. Yeah. Some memories show up, you wish it wouldn't show up. I got no witness in this house. Yeah, some memories show up, you wish it wouldn't show up. You wish you could get rid of that memory, because although the picture does not tell on you, you tell on you. Because you also remember what you was going through during that time. Yeah. Can I get a witness out there? Yeah, you, re you remember you was really going through the ringer, and you really care not to remember that time because that was not the best time in your life. Yeah. So sometimes when certain things show up, we're glad that time went by real fast. Yeah. Because we was ready to get through that moment right there. Anybody ever been in a hard time or a hard place in life and you're so glad that that moment has expired? Amen. Amen. And you say to yourself, Lord, please don't let me go through something like that again. Amen. Because I don't know if I can handle going through another season or trial like that. Matter of fact, I wish you wiped it from my memory. But what I like about God, Jacob, he won't wipe it from my memory. Because sometimes that's the glue that we need. But I always keep remembering how good the Lord is. Anybody in this house, you can rewind your life and understand that God has been very good to you. He brought you from a mighty long way. You met him when you didn't think things were going to turn out the right way. But God, he stepped in and made a way out of no way. You was grieving, you was heartbroken, you was sad, you was confused, but in God, he showed up, and he still is a miracle worker in your life. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of God that we serve. So the bad news is, yeah, on one phase, the bad news is, is that time flies. But on some of us, we glad that time still flies. Because the truth be told, we said, I just want to change today, because I don't want to remember yesterday. Matter of fact, I don't even want to remember today because truth be told, Pastor, I didn't like what happened today because that's some stuff that I'm still dealing with. That's some stuff I'm still wrestling with. And I was so glad that this day is hurry up and get by and I want to wake up tomorrow and know that I have changed. Tell somebody I'm trying to change though. I am trying. Sometimes, but sometimes, sometimes you have to understand that time is going to keep flying whether you and I change or not. Amen. Amen. And we find ourselves now getting in the prophetic of the text. Because I understand that Ecclesiastes said for everything there is a season, time for every activity on the heaven. To me, everything that's going on in life right now all right, that to understand, it does not catch God by surprise. He is very aware. Yeah. He knows about it. But God prepares us for every time that we will face. A um, matter of fact, we're in the month of June. This is June right here. And God says this is the month of alignment and truth. Amen. Amen. Yeah, this 
is the month of alignment and truth. Yeah, this month right here, he is going to align you, but it's going to be with truth. That means you're going to face stuff that you really don't want to face, but you're going to have to. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to face it. Because he is aligning you with his truth. Mm -hmm. Why? Because your life is time spent. Meaning, God got to get you and I somewhere by July. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Scratch that by August. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No, he got to get us somewhere by August. Because God is a planner. God plans everything. Please, ma'am, sir, I need you for to understand what's going on in your life right now. It's ordained. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, no, nah, it cannot be ordained that I keep going through the same fire. It's, it's ordained. Amen. That's called process. Because God would not override process. So the process maybe was supposed to last six months, but you extended the process because you wouldn't obey it. Ah, it's getting good and good. Take that says it's getting good and good. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you would not be obedient to the process, so you drug out the process. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like this. Uh, you have a test to take, all that kind of stuff and whatnot. And if you go ahead and take the test and pass the test, then you don't have to worry about taking the test over. Uh -huh. But if you don't obey the test, meaning study, and make the necessary adjustments, then you's going to fail the test. And you's going to have to take the test over. In some instances, you's going to have to take the class over. So you just extended the process. Many of you on today, you have extended the process. Because you don't understand the importance of time. Because, see, here's the thing. Today at 12 o'clock will never, ever come again. 12 o'clock today is over. It's never coming back. But there were some things that you and I were supposed to get done by 12 o'clock today that we did not get done. Therefore, we have delayed and drug out the process. So we should be finishing the process by next Thursday. But because I didn't have stuff done by 12 o'clock today, I extended it by another day. Are y'all here today? Yes, sir. All right, so I have to understand, this month right here, God said, now, I'm putting you in alignment. Because this is the sixth month. It's the, it's the month of alignment and truth. I tell you, say truth, truth. Now, y'all understand, let's go to 2 Kings chapter 13. Let's go there. Because I got to understand that when God says, all right, I'm going to align you, but I'm going to align you with truth. That means God said, I'm giving you all truth. I'm teaching you stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm teaching you stuff. I'm teaching you stuff about yourself. And some stuff I'm telling you, you don't like. But you're going to have to like it in order to not drag out the process. Hello, somebody. Because I gotta understand, tell your neighbor, because you're going to the other side, whether you like it or not. You know, the disciples didn't have no choice but to get to the other side because Jesus commanded them that they was going to the other side. He didn't ask them. Are y'all here tonight? He, he didn't ask them. He said, We're going to the other side. He didn't ask them. Uh oh. He didn't ask them for permission. He told them that we're going to the other side. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He says, like it or not, you're changed. Boy, this is good. No, he said, like it or not, you're going to change. This season, you're going to change. Woo! He said, you're going to change whether you like it or not. Yes, sir. All right, y'all all right? All right, verse 14, that's where I want to go. Watch what it says now. It says, when Elisha, watch them, I got to break this, was in his last illness. King, King Jehoash of Israel visited him and wept over him. My father, my father, I see the chariots and charioteers of Israel. He cried. Watch, watch this, watch this, watch this, verse 15. 
Elisha told him, get a bow and some arrows. Oh, shut. Get a bow and some arrows. And the king did as he was told. Elisha told him, put your hand on the bow. And Elisha laid his own hands on the king's hands. Okay, what was he saying? He says, watch this, watch, I need for to see this. This is what puts you in alignment and truth. He says, this is what he's saying. He says, find a promise from God that counteracts the problem you're facing. God's almighty. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I'm going to get happy by myself. Yeah. No. <laughs> Look what he said. He said, no. He said, find a promise from God that counteracts the problem or circumstance, watch this, that is standing in the way of the plan that God has for your life. No, no, no. Who is that? No, no. They are facing, they basically are facing a slump. Who is that? But he has enough sense to know, okay? I got to make sure I'm in alignment. So let me get to God's mouthpiece. Woo! So I can get a word that will counteract the problem. And the circumstance that I'm facing. Yeah. Because it's one thing he knows. He understands that if he gets with the mouthpiece, God is going to speak to him. Yeah. Good God. He understands. Watch the text now. He understands. Wait a minute. I know it looks bad. It looks like we might lose. But I know there's a game changer called God. Yeah. And if I get the right word. Woo! If I get the right word, I can change the course of what should have happened. All right, watch this, watch this now. Now, 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 now he got to be in perfect alignment and truth. Now, he, he gets in alignment by humbling himself and going to his man of God. Okay, all right. Now, he said, uh -uh. he said, right? he said, he said, I have enough wisdom to know that I don't have the answer. So I'm going to go to somebody who I know hears from God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. And when I get with them, I know God's going to speak. Yeah. And whatever they tell me, that's what I'm going with. Yeah. Oh, yo, get it. Yeah. 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 Look what he said. He said, no, you got to understand in this season that God is shifting you and I too. You have to understand that your alignment is going to come from getting pure truth based off God's word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Meaning, you're not facing no problem or no circumstance that God has not already given you a prescription for. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Look, look what he said. He said, no. He said, no. He said, no. Get a bow and some arrows. Get a bow and some arrows. Watch this. He didn't question it. So in this season, you're not going to be able to question the word that God gives you. Amen. You're not going to be able to question the word that God gives you. You're going to have to go with the word that God gives you. Because God is smarter than you and I. Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right. The way said, verse 17. Then he commanded. Watch this. This is so critical. Open that eastern window. And then the text said, and he opened it. Oh, look what he says now. He said, open that eastern window. Not every window. But the eastern window. You know what he said? Focus on what's important. He said, it's the eastern window. It's not, not the western. Don't worry about the western window. Don't worry about the north window. Don't worry about the south window. Only be concerned with the eastern window because that's where your enemy is at. Although you see all these other windows, they're not the problem. God, gosh. This one window is the problem. So my focus must be on this one window, this eastern window. Are y'all here today? This eastern window. He said, uh -uh. he said, no, just open the eastern window. Don't open the other windows. I, I, I know there's other stuff on the other windows that look bigger, but they're not the problem. Right. 
No, I said, no, 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 no. The, the man of God is telling him, open the eastern window. No, I said, and the Bible said, and he opened it. Oh, so he didn't question it. Are y'all here? Oh, he, oh, he didn't. You know, a lot of times there'll be multiple things open in our life, and God will give us the word. Sometimes he'll give us a direct word. Sometimes he'll give us a word through our vessel, and then we question the word. We question the word as if we didn't ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. Yeah. As if we didn't, we didn't ask for help. Yeah. But now we're questioning the word and we couldn't get a word. Yeah. Now we get a word and we question the word because the word is contrary to what we're dealing with. It would not make sense, cardinality, cardinality-wise, it would not make sense just to focus on one window when you have multiple windows. Because they could attack out of those other windows. Yeah. Yeah. But the prophet said the eastern window is the issue. Yeah. Come on, why? Because God has already shown him. Yeah. He's already given him insight on it. Yeah. You have to understand, whatever you're facing, God already knows the answer, so you got to trust the answer that God gives you. All right, what it says, y'all all right? Yeah. Tell the next time, all right. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Focus, focus on what's important. On what's important. Amen. Look what it says. He says, then he said, shoot. Uh-oh, he's like, uh-oh, watch this now. So he shot an arrow. Elisha proclaimed, this is the Lord's arrow. An arrow of victory over arrow. For you will completely conquer the Armenians and Alphabet. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold, 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 hold. All right, look, what's that? So he tells them when they shoot. He said, no. He said, go ahead. He said, no. He said, shoot. Shoot down. And man of God, he shot. But before the arrow could even hit his target, the prophet had already pronounced what would happen. Yeah. I'm trying to show it. I'm trying to show it to you. When you watch this, in this month, as you align with God's truth, meaning his direction, God's direction, God is going to pronounce ahead of time what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. He is going to pronounce, watch this, before you even hit the bullseye, he's going to pronounce this is what's going to happen in your life. Before you can even get the change down good, he is going to announce that you've already changed.
many times have God told us the right things to say, the right direction to take, but when it started working, we quit doing it. And God said, wait a minute, don't stop, keep right on getting it. Don't stop, keep getting it, because what is working? But what it says, but what it says, what it says, he said, no, no, oh, here it is, here it is. Watch this, this is so critical, this is so critical. He said, hold on. He said, wait a minute. You should have struck the ground five, six times. Why you just strike them three? You struck them three times because they fell out. You struck them three times because everything got quiet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute. You struck them three times because June was over. I didn't tell you for the quit. I told you for the keep striking. Uh-oh, y'all missed that. That means if he had kept right on striking, not only would his generation be victorious, okay, okay, but the next generation would have stepped up to the slate. Everything's all clean. Why? Because they got stacked up. Victory is already waiting on them. God says in this season right here that I'm positioning you in, I position you in a place for to start loading stuff up for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. And God said, I get angry when you stop halfway because you start getting results. It's not about your result, but it's about the next generation result. All right? Tell your neighbor, say, I hear you, Pastor. I hear you. Watch verse 20. Watch verse 20. Watch verse 20. Now, this is where I got sad in. This is where I got real sad in. Because verse 20 said, then Elisha died and was buried. So what it said? He died and was buried. Because he knew he was on his way out. So he became angry spiritually because he knew he would not get the opportunity to be able to speak in the young man again. Many of you do not understand there are people who say things to you and some of the things they say to you are pretty doggone rough. Some situations you get in are pretty doggone rough, but what you don't understand is that situation in person has an expiration date. And what they're saying is, I got to get this out of me and in you because I'm on somewhere. And you're getting ready to go somewhere. So I don't have time to keep explaining to you over and over. I need you for to get it and keep it moving. He said, no, it made him angry about it because he knew. He knew he wouldn't get the opportunity to be able to get this thing done again. Tell you never say, shoot with steadfastness. Shoot with steadfastness. All right, watch this now. I got to say, you got to shoot with steadfastness. Steadfastness is persistence. Oh. Okay, so keep firing. Don't stop taking action. Uh oh. No, if you're changing, don't stop. Yeah. If you're finally starting not to procrastinate, yeah. come on, thank you. Don't stop now yeah. because it's working. Oh my God. Yeah. It's starting to work, and because it's starting to work, you're feeling victorious, but you're not dead yet. Yeah. Yeah. Because he still got more in store for you. Yeah. Yeah. He says, no. He says, keep firing. Don't stop taking action. Don't stop doing what God said until you see that what God said has come to pass. Yeah. Amen. 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 W, you got to keep right on going. Why? Because in this month right here, in this month right here, this month right here is going to prepare you into next month. Yeah. All right, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Next month is crucial for this month. Yeah. Yes. So that's why a lot of things you will hear this month will be pretty tough. Yeah. Prepare you ahead of time. It will be pretty tough. Some things you're going to face, you'll be like, shoot off, no, I'm going to deal with this next month. And Lord, like, no, you don't have time. You don't have next month to deal with this. Yeah. Because when next month comes, you got other stuff coming up. Yeah. Amen. There are other people that's connected to you changing this month. Yeah. Are y'all here tonight? Yeah. Now, there are other people connected to your change. Yeah. And they're counting on your change. Yeah. Can I tell you something, ma'am, sir? Do you not know? Y'all, this old school, Jesus coming back. Yeah. I hate him like Oh, Pastor, don't stay on that. I'm going to stay right there. No, he is coming back. Watch this. Talk about time. Whether you and I are prepared or not, <laughs> Jesus Christ is coming back. I don't care if you're doing the booty or the death or whatever the case is, Jesus is going to come back. 
may be dropping it on that pole, he's going to still come back. I don't care what you're doing, he's still going to come back. You might be getting it from the back of the side and the front, but he's still going to be coming back. Nobody gonna talk. Ain't nobody gonna talk about I ain't gonna pull your stuff down like that. But I need you to understand right. that he is coming back. He is not gonna delay. Yeah. He's not gonna delay. Yeah. Whether you praise him or you don't praise him, yeah. he's still gonna come back. And there are a lot of times that he's already inside. Yeah. Are y'all here tonight? Yeah. All right, he could come tonight when you get to the house. Yeah. He could come while you're in your car riding home. He could come while you in McDonald's drive through get ready to get that milkshake. Yeah. He's still going to come back. He's not going to wait for you to finish that double cheeseburger or that Big Mac or that fry, baby. He's going to come right back in. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Ain't nobody talking. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, you better listen to this truth right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch this. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We've got to move. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Tell your neighbor, say, God... Uh, it's changing me. It's changing me. Whether, I Whether I like it or not. Like it or not. I'm telling you, he is changing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all speak that over your life. Yeah. No, he's changing you. Yeah. He's changing you. I know you're not excited about it. Yeah, he's changing you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's changing. Thank you, CJ. He's changing you. You're not trying to work with brother. Like, yeah, he's changing you. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's changing you. Yeah. No, God is changing you. Whether you like it or not, he's changing you. Mm -hmm. He's changing you. He's dealing with rough spots in your life. He's changing you. Mm -hmm. He's dealing with stuff that you've been let slide. He's changing you. Yeah. He's pulling your stuff down or stuff you've been trying to cover up because he's changing you. God is changing you. All right, watch this now. Take notes and let's go to July. So it'll make a little more sense. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, beginning at verse 16. July is going to be the month to completely renew your foundation. Amen. Oh, yeah, it's about to get good and good. No, no, I, I need you to understand. See, see, everything, watch this now. Most of the time, God don't give me all these months where they uh, teach you at one time. Yeah. All right, so for the sake that he's given me three months to teach you at one time, means that God is pretty serious about what he's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means he is not going to get off schedule because of you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You better hear what I'm telling you. You better hear what I'm telling you. You better hear what I'm telling you. You're going you to wish. You're going to wish that you had to work past the night. Mm -hmm. You're going to wish. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when these months start coming in, be like, I should, boy, I know. Lord, no, I should have been saying, hey, amen, Pastor. Yeah. God, no, he was right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm missing on the beat so we're laughing at you. All right, watch this now. <laughs> I need you to understand. Why? I need you to understand. Why? Because that's how serious he is. Because he said, no, no, you don't understand. I am preparing you for the next, and then I'm preparing you for that next. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Because everything is time stamped. Yeah. So a lot of times Christians don't understand that God, he never delays his work. Whatever God has planned, he's going to get it done, whether he used you or I or somebody else. Yeah. He's going to still get the plan done. Why? Because he's God. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. Okay, he would rather use us, but if we're going to delay, then he says, well, I'll pick somebody else and let them do it. Yeah. How many of you know uh, if God wants you for to go uh, have yourself changed and whatnot because he has some people that he needs to speak life into? And it's going to cause you to have to travel somewhere. Uh, how many of you want somebody else to do a fight? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe do. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe so. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe. No, oh, no. I mean, no. Who, who wouldn't want a free trip uh, to Jamaica for 14 days? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because they did what the Lord told them to do. I don't want John don't want one. No, 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 I don't want one. No. No, 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 no. You know why? Say, say why, Pastor? Because we're not excited about changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They drop the air to 71 degrees, because I already knew y'all gonna try to work a brother tonight. Yeah. <laughs> brother don't <gonna> still sweat. <laughs> Enthusiasm is overwhelming. Why? Because in the body of Christ, we don't like change. I'm going to tell you, tell you, you know, I'm a good pastor. No, we don't like change. But we want, watch this, the rewards of change. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. 
Now we want the reward. We want that. But we don't like the work that come with change. Because change will make you uncomfortable. Change will cause you to have to get new friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> change will cause you to have to change yourself. Yeah. And quit waiting on the Lord to change because he already done changed. Yeah. You just haven't decided to receive the change that he gave you. Yeah. Are y'all here tonight? Yeah. All right. Now, let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. All right. Begin in verse 16. All right. Just a month to completely renew your foundation. Listen, this is what I need for you to understand before I read it. All right. That, I don't care how much stuff you try to put on a foundation. If it has a crack, stuff going to still get in. That's right. That's right. Amen. If you don't deal with the issue that's causing the crack, all right, it's going to remain cracked. Stuff going to still get in. I don't care what you put on it, it's going to still give in to the way of life, yeah. meaning moisture, weather, whatever the case may be. It's going to give in to it. Why? Because there is a problem with the foundation. Yeah. All right? God says, this is the month in July. He says, it's because that's the seventh month. He says, no, I'm going to completely renew your foundation because seven stands for completion. I am completing your foundation, meaning the foundation of your faith. Man, this is good right here. Yeah. That means you're going to get saved for real, so no. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm about talking that yeah. No, no, you're going to be real saved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be real, I mean real saved. Yeah. Yeah. I mean real saved. I'm talking about we got Jesus on your mind all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wanting to do his perfect will. Yeah. Not wanting to disappoint him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wanting to make sure you're always good with him first. Yeah, he says, watch this. He says, in the seventh month, which is July, he said, no, no, I'm going to completely renew your foundation. Yeah. Yes, Thank you, That's why he said that I got to align you in the sixth month, which is June, I got to align you with truth. Yeah. Right. Because the alignment with truth is going to put you in the right posture yeah. for to be able to receive, watch this, a renewed foundation. Y'all yeah. see the dots connected? But I gotta understand. So I understand. Wait a minute. Hold on. So the next uh, three months, I can't be playing around. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, Amen. no, no, I can't be playing around. No, I got, I gotta be real serious the next three months, yeah. right? Because I understand. Okay, after the next three months, I might be part a little bit. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 Oh no, no, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You ain't no part of what God had. Oh, no, 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 no. When you complete a process with God, oh, he blows stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he don't open one door. He open about 14 doors at one time. And you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Every time you turn around, bam, blessing that pain, blessing that pain, blessing that. I mean, stuff just popping on in your life. You're like, what in the world is going on? That's called a completed process. And God says, he's got your reward. Yeah. Yeah. He is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he is, right? Watch verse 16. Y'all all right? Yeah. NLT verse says, all right. So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. Watch now. Watch this now. Watch this now. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. Watch verse 17. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. What it says now, the old life is gone. But a new life has begun. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, so he's saying, wait a minute. He said, I need to understand. Hold on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. In the seventh month, your, your old life will be like it disappeared. Yeah. Amen. 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 Wow. Oh, gone. Mm -hmm. I'm in the wrong church today. Wow. Oh, but hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. He said, in the seventh month, it's going to be like your old life just disappeared. Like you woke up one day and it was gone. Wow. Amen. 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 So the stuff that you struggle with, you're going to wake up, gone. Mm. Amen. Oh my gosh. Amen. All right, watch this now. What is it? Verse 18. And all of this is a gift from God. What in the world? Who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. What? Uh-oh. And God has given us this task of reconciling 
people unto him. So it would make sense that he would reconcile you first to him. All right. Amen. 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 So in return, you're going to reconcile others to him. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to be his hands and his leg in the earth ring. Yeah. Oh, y'all are here that night. Oh, my God. All right, watch this now. All right, watch this. Go ahead and say it. All right, go ahead and say it now. He says, for God was in Christ, reconciled the to himself. No longer counting people's sins against them. They never say, he's not counting your sin against you. He's not counting your sin against you. And you cannot, and you cannot count, other count other people's sins against them. Uh-oh. 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 Wait a minute now. Yeah. Pastor, you were doing good. Yeah. But, but Pastor, what, what if their sins hurt me? You still can't count them against them. Because God don't count yours yeah. against you. Amen. Oh, so all the times that you mess up folk life, yeah. Yeah. he ain't counting against you. Right. Uh-oh. Tell you that, uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, so all the times that you did stuff, he didn't count against you. So he's saying, since I gave you the ministry of reconciliation, and now you're supposed to reconcile others to me, he said, I need you to understand the only way that's possible because I don't count your stuff against you. Yeah. Amen. 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 So since I don't count your stuff against you, you can't count other stuff against them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. Uh-oh. No, no, Pastor. No, Pastor. Pastor, you're doing good, but now you're doing bad, Pastor. You're doing bad. No, I'm not doing good. Now I'm doing better. Yeah. 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 Watch verse 19. For God was in Christ, breaks out the word to himself. No longer count people's sins against him. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Oh, okay, reconciliation. All right. Tell me everything can be reconciled. So in the seventh month, everything can be reconciled. All right. Okay. So in the seventh month, God's going to be reconciling a whole lot of stuff that looked like it won't reconcile it. Oh, it's getting juicier and juicier now. Watch, watch the text. Watch the text now. All right, watch this now. All right, why? Why? Because he's completely renewing my foundation. Because I'm gonna be in the Saturday month. All right, watch verse twenty. So we are Christ ambassadors. Oh, shut. No, can't be. Got no way. So we are Christ ambassadors. Also in the seventh month, when he's with completely renewing your foundation, he's letting you know. Oh, uh, by the way, you're going to wake up an ambassador. No, like that's when you wake up completely changed. You don't know why. Child supernatural, that's what it is. Watch this now. What's it? What's it? God is making his appeal. What? Through us. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. God is making his appeal through us. Okay, if God is making his appeal through us, then we must have power running through us. Hold on, wait, wait. I, I, don't think, I don't think you see it yet. Hold on, no. If God is making his appeals through us, through us, yeah. then there must be existing power in us. Yeah. Yeah. Because he cannot Make something through you that's not already in you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so he said, wait a minute. He said, all this in the seventh month. Yeah. Yeah. Because you decided in the six months for to allow me to put you in alignment with yeah. truth. Hold on. All right. Let, 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 let's go further. Let's go further. Watch what it says. All right. Watch this now. We speak for Christ when we plead. Come back to God. Oh, now nah, back. Come now nah, back. Now nah, back. It, it can't be. It can't be. The NFT. The NFT. They broke it down. They went old school. Come back to God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
telling you to come back from a place where you were. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not saying it like you was never there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you that's where you were. Yeah. So I'm telling you for to come back. Yeah. He says when you do that, you're pleading. You're pleading. You're speaking for Christ. Yeah. Oh my God. No, you're speaking for Jesus Christ. Why? Because the power is in you. Yeah. Ooh, Lord. Look what it says, y'all ready? Yes, All right, watch it. All right, verse 21. For God made Christ, who never sinned, all right, to be the offering for our sin. Here it is. So that we could be made right with God through Christ. Oh, oh, oh. So, all right, so in July, seven months, all right, tell you, that's a month to completely renew your foundation. All right, that's a month, and he's going to completely renew your foundation, the foundation of your faith. Watch this now. So he said, hold on, look what he said. He says, no, no, no. He says, when you get in the seventh month, watch now. He says, by being in alignment with my truth, watch, watch now, watch this. You being right with me manifests. Come on. I'm in the wrong church. I'm in the wrong church. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Nobody said, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Y'all know what I'm saying. Nobody said, he said, no. He said, no. You don't understand. You don't understand. Okay, remember what I said. Remember how I started the lesson. God told me. He told me this last night while I was asleep. He said, I'm going to give you three months to teach in one lesson. He said, he said, no, he said, he said, uh, give it to him in one lesson. Because I need them for to get it. Because I'm moving fast. Come on, God. Ain't nobody talking. He said, I'm moving fast. Yes. He said, I'm moving fast. I'm moving swiftly. Yes. It's what I'm doing. Yeah. He said, he said, I know I'm going to give it to him one month at a time. He said, no, give him all three months in one lesson. Yeah. Why? Because something supernatural is taking place. Yeah. Yeah. Something supernatural is yeah. taking place. Something supernatural is 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 taking place. There's something super that's in the natural that's going to get on the natural to make it super and it's going to manifest. It started as soon as Joan hit it started. I'm trying to tell you, it'd be wise for you to really listen. You need, you need to listen up. Tell you that, listen up, listen up. All right, watch this now. All right, watch this now. Watch it. June is the month of alignment in truth. Shout June. June. It's the month of alignment in truth. All right, watch this now. July. It's the month to completely renew your foundation. All right, so watch this. Y'all all right? All right, now, let's go to Malachi chapter 4. All right, take that table going in the office now. All right, I got a roll. I got a hurry. That's what he said. No, no, I need to understand. No, I need to understand. No, 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 no. Take that. It's happening again. Yeah, yeah. See, see, remember I started out in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and I dropped down to verse 14 and went through there and said, no, no, everything that has happened has already happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So God is going full, full circle again. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the first time he did this. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's doing it again because some didn't take advantage of the opportunity he gave them last time. So that's why he said it's happening again. What's happening has already happened before. It's happening again. All right, let's see what all this is. Y'all all right? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is right here. This right. Oh, this. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I didn't think I would get here. Thank you, Father. My God. Look what August is. August is the month of the new foundational life. The new order, the resurrected life of instructions, the return of the fathers. Come on, oh my God. Come on. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. 
Come on. Yes, it's right here. It's right here. August is the month of the new foundational life. The new order. The resurrected life of instructions. The return of the fathers. This is good. I remember now, remember in the seventh month, he's going to completely renew your foundation. All right? So, I mean, he's going to make you brand new all over again. Better than the first time you got saved. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, better than the first time you got saved. No, it's going to be better than that time. Yeah. It's going to be better than, because you know more. Yeah. Yeah. You know more now. Yeah. So it's going to be better than the first time you got saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to make you brand, as they say, spanking new. Things that happen that was attempting to pull you back, yes. it's going to be as if it never happened. Yes. My God. Thank you. My God. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be like you trying to remember. You know how you be trying to remember something, but you just can't get all the pieces yeah. together? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Your worst thing is how it's going to be. God Almighty. Yeah. 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 You ain't going to be able to put the pieces back together for the remember. It'll be bits and pieces. That's it. Oh my God. That's all it'll be. It'll be bits and pieces. That's all it's gonna be. Bits and pieces. That's all it's gonna be. Bits and pieces. Come on, God. Come on, Jesus. Right. That's why August eight months. It's eight months. The eight months. Right. Eight months. What? New beginning. Right. Seven month completion. Six month alignment. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I, I, I got to grab it. Yeah. So he aligns me, he completes me, yeah. and I'm new. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah. Woo, boy. All right, watch this. All right, watch this. All right, it's the month of the new foundational life. So you got a new foundation, so it changes your life. So now your life is based off a foundation. So you govern yourself according to the foundation that God has built in you now. Yeah. Yes. That means your standards change. Yeah. My God, my God. All right, all right, okay. What, what's the next? The new order. Oh, okay. So now in that, okay. So in the eight month, all right. So when I have a new foundational life, it puts me in a new order. So that means I change my daily living. That means my diet changes. Yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yeah, I tell you, yeah, my daily living, yes. not my Sunday living. Yes. Right. I tell you, they say, you're going to throw that away. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're going to throw Sundays away, baby. Yes. Every day going to be Sunday for you. Yes. Uh -oh. yes. That's prophetic, by the way. Yes. Every day going to be Sunday for you. Yes. Yeah, you, you missed that. Yes. Every day is going to be Sunday for you. Because most people on Sundays, they do things they normally don't do. Sometimes on Sundays, is the closest you get to heaven. Ain't nobody going to talk to your boy now. He say, every day going to be Sunday for you. Why? Because that new order. <laughs> yeah, it's a new order. Your life going to have a new order about it. Watch this, y'all ready as a bonus. And the new order is going to attract new things. Wow. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes. All right, what's the next? The resurrected life of instructions. Oh, so what are they saying? All right, that's what, you remember when Jesus, he resurrected Lazarus? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, he got, yeah, got Lazarus up. He got Lazarus up. Mm -hmm. All right. And Lazarus' life spoke. His about this. He says, the resurrected life of instructions, watch this, watch this, are instructions that God had already wired in you before time. Those instructions are going to resurrect. They're going to stand up in your heart and begin to speak to you like a recorder. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. 
That means, CJ, you'll be asleep and God will be talking stuff. And you'll wake up remembering conversation after conversation. Why? Because those instructions were resurrected. Stuff that God told you that you forgot about, that you were not obedient, but it fulfilled, yeah. those things are coming back to your remembrance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are y'all here? Yes, sir. All right. The return of the fathers. It is right here. The return of the fathers. Yeah, I'll read Malachi chapter 4. All right. Begin at verse 5. Watch this now. You know what says, look, I am sending you the prophet Elijah. All right, watch now. Before the great and dreadful day of the Lord arrived. All right, before the Lord arrived. Watch that. His preaching will turn the hearts of fathers to their children. And the hearts of children to their fathers. Otherwise, I will come and strike the land with a curse. Okay, so the way he said. He says now, this is what I need for to understand. He says now, in this, in this, in this month, in this eight month of change, he says no. He said, I need to understand. He says, no. I am allowing the fathers to return to their proper place in God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Jesus. Yeah, I am allowing them to take their proper places in the kingdom. Look what he said. He says, because, watch this now. He said, because I don't want to have to strike the land. That's what's going on right now. See, the land right now. Watch this, watch this now. Watch this. This generation are dealing with the things that they're dealing with because of the actions of the fathers, not in the home, not physical, not physical. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, uh -uh. I'm talking about the spiritual leadership of the fathers. Come on. Come on. So he's saying, no. He said, I am returning them. He said, I am returning them because they have been gone too long. They have been absent. God. He said, and I am returning them. He said, because when they're in place, no land can be struck when they're in place. He said, because they shield the strikes from hitting the children. Oh, he's about to get gooder and gooder. Look what he said. His preaching, he said, look, the prophet's preaching will turn the hearts of fathers to their children. Watch this. Oh, does that mean he's going to change the father's hearing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, old, it don't matter. He's going to change their hearing. I mean, the hearing of their hearts. They're going to hear. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. And that means, watch this, that means children will begin to trust fathers again. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Lord, they don't see you. Yes. No, 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 no. All this in the eight months. Yes, Jesus. All right, well, all right, let's go further. Let's go to Luke chapter one. Let's go there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can close here. Thank you, Lord. All right, well, watch this now. Luke chapter one, verse 11. Verse 11, verse 11, watch it, watch it. Now, now, I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, this is happening again. Happening again. Now, at least we don't understand that God gave fathers the same opportunity once before. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But the land had them to distract them, so they missed it. Come on, yeah. See, at least we don't understand, watch this now. All right, all right, all right. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. In the beginning, God, he created man. Man created male and female. Created men. He created women. All that kind of stuff. But at first it was man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So God mentored man. Yeah. So God put man on scene. Watch this now. For they shield the world from everything. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all see it yet? No, he put man was the first one that he put in charge. Right. Yeah. He's in charge of the whole earth. Yeah. Man by himself yeah. was in charge. And as long as man was in position, the enemy could not do anything. Y'all yeah. don't see it. Yeah. Okay, so if man is in place, he shields the world from the attacks of the devil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what happens is, watch this now, what happens is when man is in place, when he's in posture, when he's in the right place, watch this now, 
Everybody holds on to the man for safety, protection, and wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding, and to hear what God's saying. Come on. So when God speaks, he speaks to the man. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. No, 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 no. When man is in place, God speaks to him. Yeah. He gives him plans and they work. Yeah. 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 All right. When, when children need counsel, they go to man. Man speaks life in them. Yeah. Why? Because man has the ability to speak life and death. Yeah. You better hear what I'm telling you. You better hear what I'm telling you. He has the ability. Why? Because God is working through him. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is already in him. Yeah. Because in the beginning was God and man. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. He pulled woman out of the man. Uh -huh. So she was in place, but God still has an order of how this yeah. thing works. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. Alright, take this down here. I hear you, Pastor. Yeah. Alright, watch verse 7. Watch good. Here it is. Well, okay, while Zechariah was in the sanctuary. Where was he at? Sanctuary. An angel of the Lord appeared to him. Alright, the only way that the angel was able to appear because Zechariah was in place. That's right. Yeah. Ain't right. nobody talking. Yeah. Ain't nobody talking. Yeah. Uh oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, what was Zechariah? What was it? Thank you. Y'all scared? Y'all scared of answer? Y'all. He was a man. A man. A man. 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 That's what it was. Alright, he's in the sanctuary. An angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Watch now. Zechariah was shaking and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. <laughs> what? What? Well, that's something. That's something, right? So he had a reverence for authority. Come on, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Where y'all at tonight? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. He had a reverence for authority. Yeah. Come on. Ain't nobody talking. He had a reverence for authority. Yeah. So God could speak to speak to him because he had a reverence for authority. Yeah. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. All right, watch the text, y'all. All right. The way it says, the way it says now. The way it says. All right. But the angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. He said, hold on, chill, man. It's okay. <laughs> hold on, I'm about to drop some on you, but don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah. Why? Because you're in position. Yeah. 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 You're in position. Don't be afraid. You good. Yeah. I'm about to drop some on you, sir, but don't worry about it. Yeah. You're in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. You just stay by this altar. Yeah. Uh oh, y'all don't see it. Y'all, okay, y'all, I thought y'all were soft. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. So Zachariah's life had to be pretty clean in order for him to be by the incense altar. Yeah. Because you just couldn't be by the incense altar if you just living in a kind of way. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, so let's get the revelation while we while we're there. Yeah. Also, in the eighth month, he's gonna clean up for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, I thought she saw it. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Oh, yeah, he's going to get stuff. He's going to get stuff out of the fathers. Uh-oh. Okay, watch this now. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Tell the angel said, don't be afraid, Zachariah. God has heard your prayer. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the revelation? Yes, sir. Oh, so Zachariah was a praying man. Yeah. 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 Oh, so when he said he returned the fathers, he returned them to prayer as well. Yeah. Because you hear that scene? He returned the fathers to be praying again. Like as intercessors. Not now that I lay me down to sleep. No, I'm talking about going in. I'm talking about going. I'm talking about going all the way in. I'm talking about going all the way in. I'm talking about shaking the whole house like an earthquake just happened. You know when the children get up and be like, wait a minute, they're praying. Let's be quiet. Now, wait, 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 wait a minute. Daddy talking. Let me listen. Yeah. Ain't nobody talking. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me see what Daddy talking about. Man, let me go hang with Daddy. Because I know he's going to drop some wisdom yes, on me. Yes, let me talk to Daddy. Man, let me talk to my husband. Because yes, I know he's a man. Yes, Who he is from God. Yes, he's going to drop some gems on me. Yes, right. <laughs> Are y'all here today? Yes, he's returning the fathers. Watch this. Watch the text. Watch the text. What is a father? A overseer. Yeah. A protector. A counselor. Yeah. <laughs> an anointed one. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They all ain't talking. An authoritative figure. Y'all yeah. don't see it. Y'all don't see it yet. Y'all don't 
see him. He's one that walks right beside God. Because the Bible says that in the cool of the day, God and Adam always hooked up. Every single day, God and Adam hooked up. Oh, so when he's returned to Father, he said, I am returning them for to make frequent visits. I'm returning them so we're going to be talking every day. I'm returning them that they're going to speak only what I say. I'm returning them because they're going to have authority. I'm returning them so they can change laws, so they can change rules, so they can get my sons back straight, can get my daughters back straight. God has heard your prayer. Jesus. <laughs> your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son. Mm -hmm. And you are to name him John. Oh, your wife is going to give you something. Come on. She's going to birth what you pray. Come on. But I want you to name it. Yeah. Nobody's talking now. But I want you to, her job is the perfect. Yeah. Your job is the name. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Whatever Adam named them, that was what they named were. Whatever Adam called them, that's what they were. When I return to fathers, when they speak things, that's what it's going to be. So I need them for to speak only what I say. Because they don't speak only what I say. They'll misname stuff. Watch this, y'all all right? Yes, sir. All right, what he said. Say your wife and this will give you a son. You ought to name him John. Verse 14, you will have great joy and gladness. And many will rejoice at his birth. Oh, so, oh, so, so this right here, what God's going to use man to birth is not just for man. Right. That man ain't just for your little house. Come on, right. man. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, sir. Y'all missed that? No, sir. No, this is kingdom. Yes, okay, when he returned to father, he's not returning so you can be shouting at your house. Yeah. He's returning them for the kingdom. Oh, you missed that. Yeah. You missed that. No, no, he's returning them to be used yeah. by the kingdom of God. Yeah. Not to be used as in your house. Right. No, no, baby, no. Yeah. No, no, no. He said, I'm returning them for my kingdom. So they're about to be busy. That's what they're about to be. They're about to be busy for God. They're about to be working for God. They're about to be moving and shaking for God. They're about to make some manifestation for God. For God. For God. For God. What he What he said? All right, watch this. Watch it. Here it is. Here it is right here. Verse 15. I thought about you, Nick. For he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. Oh, so what? Y'all read? Watch this, Pastor. Oh, so what? When he returned, the fathers, watch this. He says, they won't birth ordinary stuff. Jesus, my God. Come on. That stuff is going to be great in the eyes of the Lord. Oh, you know what he said? You no longer need man's approval. Yeah. 
I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand. I understand. The Karen, she don't have a husband right now. That's all right. That's why I'm here. That's right. That's right. So Karen, don't you worry about going to that schoolhouse by yourself. I'll take the day off and I'll go down there with you. And we're going to take care of business. Because when a man shows up, authority shows up. God shows up. Watch this. 
their presence is going to allow the women to feel safe enough to wrap themselves around them like a vine. Come on now. Ain't nobody talking. Ain't nobody talking. No, no, no. I'm talking about like a vine. I'm talking about like a vine that's wrapped. It keeps wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. You know why it does that? Because it's safe. Come on. Come here. Oh, so what he's doing is, y'all ready? He is returning warriors. Glory to God. Watch this now. Old 
would rub against oil and cause friction. And then you would end up with a lot in Abram's situation all over the world. So as he puts those in place, others exit. So now there would be, watch, watch this message, there would be a phenomenon of wisdom that's going to start being shared all over the world. Like wisdom just going to be coming from everywhere. All because of wisdom. But this is going to be coming from everywhere. All types of wisdom. Something's going to be coming. And you almost feel like your mind is about to explode. Because so much is coming at one time. But I need you to say, as fast as it's coming, watch. When that eight month expires, as fast as it's coming, as fast as it's going to start leaving. So you have to keep refilling, 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 and refilling. What am I saying? Saying, you and I are going to have to walk closer to God than we ever walked before. No hocus pocus. But we're going to have to walk with Him. And when we walk with Him, we're going to have to make sure that we're listening with everything that we got inside of us so we'll be able to share the things that He's downloaded to us that's going to help transform others to their next place. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Father, for everything that you share in this brief moment of time. I ask you now, Lord, you bless your people. Heal your people. Deliver your people. Save your people. Set them free. Thank you in advance, Father, for your knowledge, your wisdom, and your understanding. Everything, God, that you have allowed to be shared tonight. I thank you, Father, for a prophetic unction on tonight. That's changing the course of generations to come. I bless you in advance, Father, for all you would do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, amen.